Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State Attack, and today we're going to talk about how to back up your Android phone. Now, there's a couple things that I do to make sure that all the things that I like and I want to keep are backed up in my Android phones. And Android phones are, are different, so there are different ways to back them up depending on the type of Android phone that you're using. So I've got the Pixel 3 XL here, and then I also have the Galaxy S10 Plus. And so we're going to quickly go through what I do uh, on any phone to back up some of the things that I have, uh, and then also how to back up the phone itself, such as the apps, the data that you're saving within those apps, like games and all that good stuff. Well, let's start with what I do on both of these phones. So you'll see that I've got Google Photos installed here. Most Android phones are all gonna come with Google Photos on them now, and Google Photos is great because it backs up all of your images to the cloud, all of your images and video, so there's no need to keep them all stored on your phone. There's no need to download all of them to your computer every now and then. They're gonna be backed up in Google, and so you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you're on the Pixel, a device. Pixel phones come with uh, original storage of those images. If you're on another phone and you use Google Photos, Google Photos is going to give you free unlimited backups, but those images are going to be compressed just a little bit. Now, I rarely am able to really tell the difference in the quality uh, of the images. Google does compress them a little bit, um, so they give you high quality backups to your images. Um, but nonetheless, they still look uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, but if you don't have a Pixel phone and you want to um, and you want to get a little bit better quality images saved, you can choose to use your your Google uh, One storage. I think is what it's called now, Google One storage, uh, to utilize um, the saving of of bigger images and all that stuff. So I do that uh, when I'm not on one of my other devices because. You know, when I'm when I'm talking about photos and stuff and camera phones, I want to make sure I have my original photos, but it's not really a necessity. Now, if you save other stuff to your phone, uh, such as music and movies, um, a, a phone may have the option of having a SD card in it. And an SD card is a great way to save some of those larger files and make sure that they're not living on your phone, on the phone's physical storage. Um, not all phones support that. For example, this phone does but this phone does not. So depending on the phone, you may or may not be able to use uh, SD card storage. Um, now, for those of you that just really don't want to be in the cloud at all and use any cloud services, it's probably pretty tricky to do on phones these days, but a phone with an SD card may be your best option because at least the backing up of all of your data can be done to an SD card instead of having to be done uh, in the cloud. So Google Photos is pretty much... Um, the only app that I use as far as backing up my photos and videos. I also use Dropbox as well. Uh, Dropbox is great for backing up documents and files and stuff like that that I may open in an email and save to my phone. I can then save those in Dropbox. And so that way between like documents and images and videos, I have all that stuff backed up and I'm not having to uh, worry about losing anything. Now, on a Pixel, if you're wanting to actually back up the software, uh, it does all of this stuff uh, by itself, but you may want to force a backup in case your phone hasn't been plugged in in a while, or maybe you just want to check to make sure that your phone is uh, being backed up. So from the search, just do a search for backup, and you'll see we've got, um, we've got our backup settings right here. You can see it says that it's backing up to my Google Drive account, and it gives me that email address. So you want to make sure that these are correct. You want to make sure that it's also the same account that you use to download all of your apps from. Because next time when you go and log in uh, to a new phone and you need to restore your phone from its uh, last backup, you're gonna to want to make sure that that's the same account that you downloaded the apps from. Otherwise, if there's some paid apps, it's gonna check it against the Google account that you're logged into and the purchase history isn't gonna be there. So you kinda of wanna make sure that those are matched up. Then it also shows the active backups, which are backups that are happening uh, periodically. It shows my app data was backed up an hour ago, call history yesterday and all that stuff. So if I wanna force it, I just simply tap backup now and it's gonna back up all that data. Now, besides backing up using Google, so this is backing up to Google. 
which uh, probably is the best way I think for Android phones these days because backing up to Google means that when you go and log into your new device, and the reason that you would need a backup is something happened to your old device. Uh, logging into your new device, it's gonna pull in all that data and easily restore your phone. I found, especially on Pixel devices, using Google is just the best because it's so well integrated. Um, Samsung has its own backup service as well using uh, Samsung's cloud service. Um, it works really good as well, but you can also back up to Google. So you can see that backup process is gonna take a couple of seconds. While we wait, we'll jump into our uh, Galaxy phone here. So I'm going to swipe down just like I did on the Pixel. I'm gonna tap on the gear to get to the settings here. And of course I can just do another search and I can do a search for backup. So we've got backup and restore. We've got backup my data. We've got backup data. We've got backup account. On the S10, on the Galaxy phone, we have all sorts of options. Um, so let's just go to uh, accounts and backup. You can see we've got accounts, backup and restore, Samsung Cloud here. So we'll tap on backup and restore. We could backup data using our Samsung account. So I could tap on that and it's gonna show me all the data that I have backed up and my available cloud storage. Now it shows that my backup was done a couple of days ago. So I might wanna tap on backup and let it go through that backup process. So it's gonna go through and check everything and make sure that everything is backed up and it's gonna put that in the Samsung Cloud. Um, so Samsung Cloud works really good on the Samsung devices, especially if you know that your next purchase is gonna be a Samsung device. If your next purchase is not going to be a Samsung device, that's where you might want to make sure that you're backing up to more than one place than just the Samsung cloud. Of course, these phones are getting good at switching between them now. So if you're, say your next phone was a Pixel, you can just connect the cable to your device uh, with the little adapter these phones come with and use the app to, to migrate everything over. But that's assuming that you have your old phone uh, anyways. If you had something bad happen to your, your Galaxy phone and you wanted your next phone to be another device such as a Pixel, but all of your backup data was saved in Samsung, then it's gonna be a little bit tricky for you to go from a Samsung cloud backup over to uh, like a Google Pixel device or an LG or some other sort of device. Um, so let's go back here. You can see there's a restore data option as well. You can see here that we can back up our data to Google also, and you wanna make sure that this is turned on. So back up my data to your Google backup account. And just like I said about the Pixel phone, you wanna make sure that you're backing up to your Google account, that all of your app purchases, in-app purchases, subscriptions, and all that stuff are taking place in. I've just found that that's better. Uh, so make sure that you're doing that. Make sure that you have automatic restore turned on. Um, I can also tap on my Google account here. Notice that I'm now looking at the same page that I had over here on this phone. So we can see here how old our backup data is into our Google account. I can force a backup if I want to, uh, just like I did there. Um, and then also notice that we have our external storage transfer here. If you have a micro SD card in your phone on this particular phone or on another phone that allows for that, you can tap here and you can actually go and uh, and look, but I don't have any external storage in my phone right now. Um, so what I'd be able to do is, uh, of course, back up that data uh, if I had one installed in this phone at the current time. So that is the process of making sure that your phones are backed up. Like I said, I think Google is the best option to back everything up because it's their operating system. Android is from Google. And so uh, having all of your backup data go to your Google account means that you're gonna be able to jump between different devices easier if you decide to switch brands later on. Uh, if you're only going from Samsung to Samsung, uh, of course, using the backup for your Samsung as well is great because some of the things that are not going to transfer over, for example, like Bixby is only available on an Android phone from Samsung. It's not available on a Pixel or an LG or any of the other manufacturers. So some of those specific settings to a Samsung phone or to an LG phone or any of the other phones, OnePlus that are out there, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're using the backup that is available for that phone because of the specific settings that are gonna be backed up and then also the Google backup, uh, which is more universal 
um, doesn't isn't going to back up your Bixby, isn't going to back up some of those other specialized settings for uh, phone specific software, but it will back up everything that you either uh, that you're doing within Google services or doing within any of the apps that you've downloaded from the Google Play Store. So that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I know it was a lengthy video. I had a lot to say there about backups. I hope that it was easy to follow. If you have any questions, ask down in the comment section be below. That's what it's there for. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this and wanna see more of them, click that subscribe button so that you'll get more videos from us. I hope to see you back in the next one. Take care.